In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a game called Meltdown by Phenomenon Games, and I think published by Bulky Picks. So, Meltdown is a dual stick shooter with certain elements from, I would say, Contra and Gears of Wars. And as we get into the game here, you can see your menu, which has gear, skill, store, and missions in it. Your gear menu is basically uh, your menu with your weapons and uh, upgrades that you can do. Your skills is similar to a class menu that you would have in RPGs where you can choose as a specialist, soldier, medic, and uh, they have subsections under that. I'm currently invested in the soldier class. And uh, let's go to just go back to the gear menu. So in your gear menu, you have your SMG and shotgun variants. There are a bunch of them, and they're all upgradable. You can find upgrade points by playing through the game and getting uh, points and playing certain missions perfectly, I guess. There's also a store menu where you can purchase XP, coins, and other items, which I have not used <coughs> so far. Um, I, I guess the game is pretty much skill-based, and I'm not sure if it's pay-to-win yet because I haven't gotten far enough, so it may be different in the future. And uh, yeah, let's get into the mission here. I'll play the first mission. This does have some variances in mission. In, on the top over here, you can see it has wave attack mode, which would basically be similar to a horde mode. You know, where you have a bunch of enemies coming at you all the time. <coughs> this w this does work with standard hit controls, which is why I'm able to play it properly with my GPT G7 and. Um, one feature I think I haven't mentioned is you can go into your gamepad and you can set it up. You know, I wish more games did this on Android since, you know, they're becoming more and more complicated, but you can pretty much map any key you want. And as long as your controller is hid supported, it would probably work fine. So when you start this game, the really cool aspect is that, um, the layout and design really gives you a sci-fi 90s or 80s sci-fi vibe to it and even the music the music really pumps you up it's pretty solid techno kind of music and uh, let's get into combat right here the gun mechanics are pretty cool um, you can switch quite easily sound effects are good explosions are very cool and controls are very solid it controls a, like a very solid uh, dual stick shooter and uh, the thing that sets it apart is that it has melee weapons in it which you need to use for certain kinds of enemies because they they come at you pretty fast as you can see that guy just committed suicide and basically took a bunch of health off me well not yet because I'm in easy mode and when you go near objects you automatically get into cover as you can see over here I'm automatically in cover and this is useful for certain kind of really powerful enemies that uh, you will fight which throw flames at you oh, that's good. Okay. I like the music in this game pretty cool So far, um, the only problem I had is sometimes my ammo would just go away and I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to attack enemies unless I kept using my melee which is not viable. But that's probably because of the way I'm playing it. Uh, I'm not playing it as tactically as I probably should in the later levels. Uh, in this level it's okay because you know, it's basically the first level. This game kind of reminds me of Bastion. Uh, if you guys have played that game, of course the art style is not, you know, as complex as that, but uh, it, the layout, like, you know, the, the kind of um, two and a half D platform look, like half isometric look, kind of reminds me of Bastion. I like the voice, melee kill, every time you kill. <laughs> it's cool. It's a fun game. I mean, the it's different from other joystick shooters because um, it has a little bit of depth to it. You know, games like Mini War, which are really cool too, they kind of lack depth. 
uh, which kind of puts me off at times, even though it's fun to play. But I like the depth in this game. You know, it's not very deep, but it has your upgrade mechanics, and it has a challenge to it. You might not notice it in this level, but later on, it does get pretty challenging. Some of the boss fights... And you shouldn't probably play this as a run-and-gun shooter, that would be a mistake, because um, you do need to use cover. There's a reason why they have that there. With certain enemies, you kind of have to use it. I'm screwing up on the controls. I haven't played this on my GPD G7 in a while, so... Uh, and I would recommend you play this game with a controller, especially something which has dual joysticks you'll have a much better experience that way Ooh. yeah it has those you know rogue style um, power-ups I wouldn't say it shouldn't be a rogue style but it does have power-ups that show up this is not a rogue game by you know any means so there you go the mission complete and you can see the points you've gotten the chips are, I think they're something like upgrade points. And, uh, yeah. Well, so this is Meltdown. Uh, you guys should check it out, especially it's, since it's free. I mean, you should try it out. It's a pretty good jo dual joystick shooter. I hope you liked the video, and uh, thanks for watching.